We've talked about joining surfaces, so now let's talk about quickly about exploding them and cutting. If I create a sphere, this is one shape. If I use my explode tool, nothing's going to happen. However, I can go here to plane, cutting plane in my surface menu, draw a line from here to here. Now I have my cutting plane, so I'll select my split command, select the plane, press enter. I'll delete the plane, and now as you can see, our sphere has been divided into three pieces. At this point I can use my join tool to join them into one closed poly surface. The explode tool now will explode them into their component parts. The explode tool basically will only explode items or objects into sections that Rhino recognizes as separate parts. Now with a surface that can mean that if you cut it as I did, Rhino then recognizes where those cuts are, it remembers those cuts so that even if I rejoin the shape, and the seams disappear, I can still explode the shape and I'm left with separate pieces. I could then cut this piece here again, plane, cutting plane. Select it, split, select the plane, press enter, delete the plane, and again we have another cut here. I could then just rejoin these two if I wanted. And once again the seams disappear. So now when I rejoin my circle, my sphere, entirely, even though all the cuts are visible on the wireframe, it's not visible in preview mode. Till I explode it, and then it'll tell you exploded a poly surface into four surfaces. Again, a poly surface simply means many surfaces, which because of my cutting, I have chopped this thing up. Now, surface cutting plane will work on curves, surfaces, solids, poly surfaces. It will not work on meshes, however. So that's the basics of exploding and cutting.